All right, get ready. It's time once again for The Law and You, featuring the area's premier attorneys with us today. We have attorneys Eddie Saramboli. He called you that last time. He and did. Greg Fellerman, he did. they're here with us today, yep. answering your questions, your legal questions that you need some help with. So, and this is a great question. This today. one is, everyone yep. kind of needs to pay attention to this one. It happens to the best of us. Mm -hmm. So let's get to this. It's from Jason out in Dallas. He says, I just found out that there was a fraud on my checking account. What do I have to do to get my money back? So this actually just happened to me two weeks ago. Oh. and. And it actually happened to our law firm, what, about six, seven, yeah. six, seven months ago. So, you know, the first thing that you need to do is obviously notify, you know, notify your bank. You have got to get a copy of the <coughs> front and back of the check that was cashed. Uh, okay. Go, you know, go to your bank, show them that it's, you know, it's a fraudulent transaction. I mean, we had, it was signed by somebody that wasn't even me. Uh, it was on a check that was looked like it was done on a word processing machine. Like, yeah, I mean, it was really ridiculous. And then you have to go to the authorities and fill out a police report. <coughs> okay. And if you don't fill out a police report, then there's really no way for you to really get your money back. Uh, it's very difficult. These things are, are, and then you have to close the account and go through all those steps. But so it's a headache. But you, oh, you got to make those tremendous, steps. Tremendous, yeah. tremendous headache. And you know, ultimately, you can bring a lawsuit, but. You know, it's yeah. The thing yeah. with the bank fraud is yeah. you have to monitor your accounts pretty much on a daily basis yeah. at this mm -hmm. point because people are doing transactions electronically on the internet. Uh, they're 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 passing fake checks. So monitor your stuff. Stay in good contact with your bank. I know they call and it's a it's a pain in the neck when the banks call about charges. But this is you know it's a multi billion dollar year industry. All the electronic fraud you're seeing. So it's the world we live in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Get on and and the thing that we were able to do with both you know, in my personal and, the, and then in our law firm was, we have everything online, so we were able to get a picture of the fraudulent check immediately and get it right to the bank. Oh, great. And then they were able to get us our money back, yeah. so, which okay. was good. Makes yeah. it a little easier. Yep. All right. Well, guys, thanks so much for your time. You're welcome. And don't forget, results always matters with attorneys Ed Saramboli and Greg Fellerman. You can go to pahomepage.com to submit your questions or give the hotline a call.